In this video, we're going over beginner tips and tricks on the new Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'm gonna to walk you through some beginner tips and tricks on the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Just a few things that'll be important for you to learn that'll make it easier for you to use the phone. The first tip is gonna be how to get that screen to stay on longer. So what you're gonna do is swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and tap on the settings wheel right here. And we're gonna swipe up to display, and then swipe up again until we get to screen timeout time. And from here, tap on screen timeout and change it from 30 seconds to either two minutes or five minutes. Now also while you're here, there's another feature that's called screen attention, and this will pre prevent your screen from turning off if you're looking at it. So while we have it set at two minutes, if we turn this on, the screen will stay on even longer if the front camera recognizes that you're still looking at the screen. So that's just a really easy way to keep your screen on longer. Two important things there. Okay, for our next tip, I wanna show you how to take a screenshot. It's super easy on this phone. Um, you'll either have the three buttons at the bottom, in which case you'll tap the recent apps button and tap screenshot right here. You can also hit the little pencil to edit the picture afterward and then um, write on it or erase and then save. If your phone is in gesture mode, you won't have the three buttons here at the bottom, but you'll have a little bar and all you'll need to do is just swipe up and hold and that'll also take you to the recent apps screen and you can hit that screenshot button to take a picture of your screen. You can also swipe over to another app that you were using, let's say the um, Google Assistant app, and then I can hit screenshot to screenshot that app as well. So really easy, just hit the screenshot button and you're good to go. All right, for our next tip, I wanna show you how to turn the phone on and off because uh, it would seem like it would be easy to do, but when you hold the power button, you'll notice it opens up the Google Assistant. It doesn't turn the phone off. So if you need to turn your phone off, you simply just swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down a second time, and tap the power button, which is right here. And it will give you the option to restart the phone, to power off, or go into the emergency mode, which will have the phone make a noise and alert people that you're in trouble. Um, but basically, power restart right there. All right, for our next tip, I wanna show you how to control the volume on the phone. And this one is, it's not as obvious to some people and that's why I'm pointing this out. Um, so you, you're gonna tap the volume up button and this is what brings you to the menu to control the sound setting for the phone. It goes away quick so uh, pay close attention. So I'm gonna press the button. The bell with a slash means that you're in silent mode and the first option, this one here, means that you are in vibrate. So that's how you switch between the sound settings on the phone. Volume up and then just select which option you wanna be in. If you're in a meeting, obviously vibrate. If it's at night, you might want to be on the silent. And if any other case, you may want to be just on the normal bell with nothing covering it. And then this is your volume uh, leveler, which you can use to raise the volume up and down. And if you tap on the three dots at the bottom, this will allow you to control all of the sound volumes on the phone. So media volume, which is playing music or, or watching a video, the call volume, so you can see how loud the call is coming through the phone, the ringer and notification volume, so you can control how loud the phone will ring, and then obviously your alarm volume. Those are the main four volumes to control. All that happens or is accessed right through the volume buttons here. 
And our very last tip is gonna be how to close running apps. So if you hit the recent apps button, this will take you to your running apps menu here. Now, um, all you need to do is simply swipe to the right. And once you get all the way to the right, it will then bring up an option to clear all. And the clear all is gonna close all your running apps for you in one shot. So that's the quick way to close all apps at one time. And actually I wanna show one last thing. So uh, I did mention earlier in the video that some of you don't have these buttons at the bottom of your screen. You might have a little bar and you might be in the gesture mode. So I wanna show you how to get out of the gesture mode and how to turn on the home buttons if you choose to have these over being in the gesture mode. So swipe down from the top of the screen Swipe down again, tap on the settings wheel, and you'll need to swipe up to system, gestures, and then system navigation. And then you'll wanna make sure that three button navigation is enabled. Out of the box, it comes in the gesture mode, which gives you the little bar. So you'll have to go to three button navigation to get the home buttons. And that's it. Hope you guys found that helpful. I've been using this phone for quite a while and a lot of these little things were not as obvious to me when I first got the phone. So I wanted to make a quick video that just covered all these basic items to hopefully speed up your learning curve with using the new Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. So if you found the video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button uh, favorite the video and share it. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.